what's up what's good what's going on family so i want to jump in and just do an energetic check-in see what's going on what energy is affecting the sagittarian ninth house collective at this time guys this is going to be for your sun moon rising north node venus as well as that ninth house okay very particular messages here on the mandula awakening for your ninth house but even with that being said let's just take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest guys if you would like a personal reading um, you can find those offered over on the manjulaawakening.com. Um, we do currently have a coupon code for golden31 that does get you 31% off of your messages from spirit up until the end of this month. Also, the Zoom sessions, the 20 minute and or the 40 minute, they're both on sale. I'm not sure how long I'm going to leave them on sale, but they are currently on sale. Um, yeah, and while you're over on the website, guys, I do have blog posts um, that I do write myself, okay? So forgive any grammar grammar errors or anything like that. But I do feel like that they are beneficial, okay? So if you would like some extra guidance along your journey, um, you may find those blogs to be useful. Also, there are uh, promo codes and coupon codes over in those um, blog posts, okay? So the first card out is a 26 card, which is an 8 card. Um, but it is great fortune. So we're going to speak. We're, we're speaking about something to do with your your increase, your abundance. So there's some sort of great fortune for an official person or coming on behalf. You're going to hear about some sort of great fortune on behalf of an official person. Imprisonment for official person was at the bottom of the deck. So there could be some sort of great uh, fortune coming to you from someone um, that is imprisoned. Yeah, it's a gift. It's a gift. So um, unexpected income. Y'all can't make this shit up. Um, I definitely feel like that the energy that is currently affecting Sagittarius is that there is some sort of unexpected fortune some unexpected abundance that is coming your way in the form of a gift um i do feel like that this is coming from some sort of an official person um okay so there could be some sort of main female that is in bad health um that could be Is either in physical bad health or financially in bad health and is receiving some sort of unexpected income to help balance that out okay let's look and see what's what's show me into the blind spots of this situation please spirit help me help me to see this situation clearly um six of uh, 26 22 and 17 could be significant here so we do have burnet female. So this is definitely an intense situation. Someone could have darker hair here. Doesn't necessarily have to. Um, this is something that is um, meant to be. This is not an. This is faded. This isn't an accidental. This isn't an accident. This is meant to happen. Um, you could hear about this from. Um, it, like this could come to you in a laid back approach. Is what I just heard. So, um, show me Sagittarius. Show me Sagittarius. How does this, how does this storyline here affect the Sagittarian Ninth House Collective? How does this storyline here affect the Sagittarian Ninth House Collective? Happy. Wow. How this affects the Sagittarian Ninth House Collective is happiness. Um, there is some sort of underlying frustration here. Um, 
like feeling like something isn't fitting, something isn't quite making sense, possibly. Show me Sagittarius. Show me how Sagittarius is showing up inside of this storyline. The King of Cups. I feel like that you're overtaken by emotions here. I definitely feel like that you're overtaken by emotions here. I feel like that you're feeling a whirlwind of emotions here. Give me just one second, guys. What's up, y'all? I paused that at five, five, five. All right, so, and then the Wheel of Fortune here is at the bottom of the deck. So I definitely feel like that how you're showing up here is, I do feel like that there's a whole lot going on for you right now, Sag. I feel like that there's more than this going on for you. So it's kind of like that this is like a good breath break from the way that things have been kind of playing out here. So I do feel like that this may feel like a lucky break. Um, but I do feel like that it's also a, a very intense time for you as let me see if they need help. All right. So let's look and see what's going on. Someone is definitely focused on getting financially stable, financially solid. And due to this intense focus on this, I do feel like that you manifest in some sort of lucky break. Let's see. This could come from someone who, like, this could come from someone. I don't know why. I feel like that there's some sort of gift. Something that's meant to be yours, but it's given to the wrong person. I feel like that it comes your way. Any, like, something comes to you, anyways. We have the five of wands to the death card. Yeah, this kind of, there's some sort of intense time. Like there, this, whatever, this is brings in happiness for you because it also puts to, to an end some sort of conflict that you've been in with some sort of community or a minimum of five people. You have not been seeing things at eye to eye. So I definitely feel like um, where you was once not kept like, I don't know, not included in, felt left out in, or something or another like such. I do feel like that you will be um, handled differently now, okay? There isn't, there was like this intense focus um, to put an end to something here. To put an end to something here. This could be, this could be um, like you could have been in, 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 in involved in an intense conflict with the Scorpio here. Or there, I just heard um, someone Saturn could be in Scorpio. I don't know when that would have, what generation that would have been. The Eight of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. Something is definitely, um, some this Sagittarius. Somebody who has been focused on some sort of work project despite the competition they have stood out and it's about to pay off there's a lucky break coming just take it as it resonates okay um what's destiny luck chance meant to be so uh, this whole book all right y'all so look like this whole book this whole book fell out we're not getting ready to address all this but i do want you to see the eight of swords is here so there is some sort of thought process there is some sort of thinking okay that is that is affecting um 
that was affecting someone. But for some reason, I feel like someone has beat the odds. Because this luck, this destiny meant to be this, like I said, that there's something that's like, that luck is coming your way. You're still getting it. It was meant to be kept from you. You're getting it. It's clarified by the full card. There's a brand new lucky beginning. A lucky break for you here. Okay. And it is because you have stood out. It's literally because against the odds, you have stood out against the competition. You have not folded. Okay. You have not folded. You have not folded. We have justice ooh, in the devil card in the three of cups at the bottom of the deck with the four of cups. Excuse me. I'm not going to lie. I did feel third party energy. I wasn't sure if um, one of these other people was this official person, but I feel like that it's the official person because I feel like that it's the, like, the empress is here. So I feel like in, I, I feel like that, um, someone, an official person, <clears throat> Someone's got a controlling mother here. Someone who... This official person laid back emperors. There's definitely some sort of conflict that is brought an end to somebody's new beginning with an empress, okay? But for some reason or another, whatever this, however this is linking together for you, this brings about something good for you. But I do feel like that this is a very intense time for you, which is why this is def. I, I feel like that you're running into some sort of great, like you're receiving something. There's definitely some sort of unexpected gift, unexpected finances that's coming your way. And it is giving me the energy of it either being because of how hard you fought to overcome the competition or because of everything that you had to fight through. So like if there was a lot of conflict between you and someone, you're being compensated in one way or another for this. You're being compensated for this. You're being given permission to like there's like I feel like that. Let me see. The two of wands. See someone seven of wands all together starts in five of wands ends in two of wands three of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck there's a whole lot of energy of feeling like that there's more than just two people here okay so we have to keep that in mind and with the two of wands here i definitely feel like that there is a decision a choice in a decision that someone is making and i feel like that once upon a time, there was something done to keep you from receiving this gift or there's been some sort of delays to you receiving this gift. And I do feel like that this gift is coming in the form of some sort of unexpected um, income, um, either because some sort of main female has fallen ill 
or it like okay so the main female is falling ill and so that's like you could be the main female or the main person in this storyline and you could fall ill and i do feel like that to carry you over you will be receiving some sort of unexpected income or there is someone who has T who there's a female in your life whose health has taken an unexpected turn and this person is going to be giving you some sort of unexpected income giving you some sort of gift unexpectedly What is the energy of this person to Sag spirit? What is the energy of this laid back person to Sag? The tower. Um, this is definitely the tower, the two of swords. Um, I feel like that if you've been made, this is the person that shook shit up like who this person is to you, chaos. Yeah, the Eight of Wands. Um, the person that altered the path forward for forever. Why? What's in what way are they the tower? It could be an Aries. Could be a Scorpio as well. What is this um here? I do feel like that you can expect some sort of laid back eat like I don't know like I feel like that someone is typically laid back I feel like that what's happening here is that um, someone is unexpectedly going to be offering you something that you felt like was once outside of your reach I do there's something about you standing out from the competition here Something that you thought was once previously outside of your reach is being offered to you anyways because you stood out from the competition. Because possibly you you put an end to, like, I don't know. There's something about you standing out from the crowd here. And so I do feel like that someone has, is like the two of wands. There's a willing decision. This is that this laid back is like, like somebody takes this, this laid back person, how they affect you is they shake shit up. In what way do they shake shit up? The page of cups to the 10 of cups. How do they shake shit up is they affect your happiness with some sort of emotional, with some sort of emotional offer. The Seven of Pentacles, the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck, the Nine of Wands. First and foremost, is this a description of this person? Is this a description of this person? The Page of Swords. Are these two the same person, Spirit? No. These two are in communication. How does this person affect you? They affect, they're, they're here to disturb your Ten of Cups as it pertains to the Page of Cups. with some form of communication but it's not coming off as bad news yeah it's not coming off as bad news it's giving off energy of good news to be honest with you what is the energy of the communication between these two people here the seven of pentacles the queen of pentacles the Four of Pentacles in the reverse and the Ace of Pentacles was sticking out in the Three of Cups.
So the communication between these two people here, this laid back person in this um, darker male here, I feel like that it, it, it definitely has a lot to do with the rewards that they were expecting not being that meander results okay so the communication between this these two people is that the whatever they were expecting whatever they had invested in the past as it's not nurture like it's, it's it's not coming to fruition as anticipated the i don't have you i don't even have reversals in this deck but the four of pentacles hit the table in the reverse so we cannot ignore that and when we speak about the four of pentacles in the reverse it speaks about insecurities recklessness spending reckless spending self-protection so these two people are communicating about how some sort of decision that was a risk in the first daggone place is not giving them the results at which they had anticipated and i don't feel like i feel like that they're insecure about the opera like the like there is some level of insecurity to finally celebrate like what when they when a decision was made in the past it was with the expectation that they would have this celebration there is this energy of them somewhat these two people no longer holding on to this opportunity for this celebration what's the five of swords here about Someone's definitely got a plan to make. I mean, a decision to make. It looks like that they've made the decision, but it's almost like they're making this decision and the five of swords. It's like this was, I don't know, this was their contingency. I don't know. Let's before I say that, let me see. Spirit, before I get clarity on the five of swords, can you give me clarity on the on the two of wands? The, yeah, I, the nine of pentacles. Um, somewhat, yes, the page of pentacles. This person had a contingency plan the whole time. So there's already, like there was, all, it's almost like this person was moving with the understanding that this was always going to be their decision anyways because it was in the best and highest good for themselves. What's this five of swords? All the more concerning that the five of swords is here between the energy of these two people over here. Whatever these two people have going on over here, it absolutely benefits you. What's the five of swords over here? Judgment for one you see that you see that trumpet of truth judgment speaks about truth and it also speaks about the truth must prevail the truth must come forward there's a the five of swords there was an the, someone made a selfish decision someone planted seeds in the past with the with the understanding of a selfish reckless gain in the future that's not coming to fruition for this person and there was all this person always had a contingency that just in case so ultimately somebody there's there's getting ready to be some sort of drama between this laid back person and this darker male what's the energy of the seven of pentacles what are the seeds damn Seven of Pentacles, pregnancy test. So it looks like that someone, the, the, this laid back person and this darker male are in conversation as it pertains to some sort of pregnancy test. Yeah, lipstick stains, in their feelings, get in the room, now they're depressed. They know that that's their child because of the symptoms that they have. And look, look, they cannot handle it. This person's brain just stays on fucking fire. Because they know that there's, caught, there's nothing that they can do. And now this person is like trying to, like, some fighting for what they love. Like somebody's trying to claim what's theirs or something. I don't know. Like, um, show me how this how is this effect like this whatever this is it brings you something so how does this affect sagittarius 
you're expecting a new beginning out of this. And I've been getting that. It, it, it definitely says new beginning here. It's falling into pieces. So, yeah, I definitely feel like that. Um, Someone's in their head wishing that they would have used protection here. Yeah, look, everything falling to places, getting kicked to the curb. Situation is about to explode. Sexual protection, bank failure. Baby, this person loses money and everything in this. Mm, mm, mm. I'm a mess right now and I bet they are. So, this is all fate. Like, look, damn, I can't even make this up. The Wheel of Fortune and the Wheel of Fortune is at the bottom of each deck. And behind this Wheel of Fortune is the Ten of Swords to the Devil card to the Three of Pentacles. It's fated for this person to be chained to a third-party situation for one reason or another for what they did to you, Sag. What is this? Justice. I can't make it up. Justice. It's their karmic justice. This person was fated. To be chained and stuck inside of a third party situation. It is their karma. It is, it is, there was nothing that you could have done to stop this person from getting this lick. It was stated because it, it's their karmic justice because of something that this person has done to you, which is why it brings you a level of happiness, okay? Because it does give you, it does set you free. But it does bring intense feelings. And I do feel like that there's a whirlwind of feelings that you will feel in the midst of this. Possibly because of who it is. Who is this laid back person to Sagittarius? The Sagittarius first and foremost. Major Arcana if yes please. Um, does Sagittarius know this laid back person? We have the Eight of Wands. It kind of came out funny. Spirit is trying to say move forward. Um, does the Sagittarius, one more time, Spirit, just give me one more chance. Um, does Sagittarius know this blonde female, blonde laid back person? Knight of Cups. It could be um, a Pisces, Pisces Aquarius energy. I'm going to go out on a limb and say no. But I definitely feel like that it is someone that they have stepped out and cheated on with, okay? This is just someone that there's possibly like a one night stand with. The Seven of Swords and the Knight of Cups is one night stand energy. So Spirit is saying move forward. I don't think you know this person. Um, let me read you the major arcanas that have come to the board. So <laughs> there's quite a bit that has come out here, Sag. Let's see. So straight out the gate, we have Capricorn, Libra, Judgment is Scorpionic Energy, Sag with the Wheel of Fortune, Gemini with the Lovers, Scorpio with the Death, Scorpio with the Tower, Libra Taurus with the Empress, um, Aquarius with the Fool card. Um, so let's see, do I have the dice over here, Spirit? No. Can you show me what zodiac signs this could possibly be for Sagittarius? Um, Capricorn, Scorpio, Taurus, and Capricorn. Guys, I hope that these messages offered you some guidance on your journey. If these messages resonate and you would like a personal, don't forget to um, check that link out down below in the description box. Um, I will see you guys later on. Um, well, I guess I'm probably going to release this after Thursday. So. I see y'all on the 31st. Don't forget to turn your th notification bells on for August the 31st. We will be going live for nothing but questions that entire day. Well, for two hours. Um, questions. So just come on whenever. We'll be on for two hours. Ask your questions. But I would really advise you to block your schedule out because it is my baby sister's birthday. So I'm going to do something a little bit special on there. Um, and a major announcement. So you probably want to show up for that so you can get first grabs because it is a limited edition. All right, guys, I absolutely love you.